We are going to do logarithms on the Casio FX 300ES Plus. A nice little calculator uh, to do algebra. So let's say you have the log of base 5, 25, right? How do I calculate that? Well, you can uh, use this, uh, the log of 25 divided by log of 5. It's equivalent. Uh, the way to remember it, the 5 is in the bottom, the 25 is on top, you can take the log on the top and the bottom. Okay, so let's turn on the calculator here. Uh, we're going to uh, press log, then 25, and then close it, and then divide, and then the log of 5, and you can close it if you like, equals 2. Perfect. Then the log of x 25 equals 2. There's a rule that says that the log of a, b equals c, where a, c equals b. Well, we can apply that to this. x, x squared equals 25. So this x and 2, they're joined that way. And then equals 25. Take the square root on both sides. x equals the square root of 25. Square root 25 equals 5. Perfect. Then we have the log, base 10, x, right, equals 2. By the way, these logs, these logs are based on 10. This log is based on 5. So log 10, x equals 2. Same rule, 10 squared equals x, right? 10, right? And then we can use the x to the blank, right? And we'll pop in 2. We can close it. It gives you 100, which we already knew, probably. Then uh, some anti-logs, 10 to the 2.5, right? If you look over here, there's a 10 to the blank. We can use that for this one. Shift, uh, the log key. 2.5. You don't need to close it, but we will in the parentheses, and then we get press equals 316.2277. Nice. Uh, let's say 10 to the minus 1.5. Same thing. Shift uh, the log key. Um, negative, right? This negative here. 1.5. Close it. Equals. 0 0.031622. All right, that's great. 10 to the half. Let's see how it deals with this. So uh, this is the antilog of a half, right? Shift, 10 to the blank. And we have a fraction button, 1 ABC, or 1 fraction 2. Close it. Equals. We get 3.162277. This, by the way, is the square root of 10. This 2 is the index of 2. So if we take the square root of 10 and we press Enter, it gives you the same answer. All right, what about the log of 8? Again, that's the base 10. That's what the calculator is. We take the log, we press 8. Press equals 0 0.9030. All right, if this is going a little too fast for you, just pause the video, rewind it, and you'll be fine. Also, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teachers about this video. Um, I would appreciate that. Okay. So... Um, Let's do something like the log of 8 squared, right? So we take the log, we get 8, we square it, we press equals 1.8061, right? And that can also be rewritten. There's a rule that says that the 2 can be brung down. So 2 log of 8, so we can say... 2 log should be should be automatically multiplied and then the 8 
You can close it if you like, equals, same answer. Okay. Now, sometimes you have the natural log of 8. So that's going to be natural log, which is over here, 8. You can close it if you like. You press equals 2.0794, and it keeps on going. Um, natural log really is the log of base E, 8. What is E? E is over here, E to the blank. So if we type in 1, shift, uh, natural log key, right? Ah, the other way around. Natural log first, sorry about that. Then the 1, and then equals. So E is equal to 2.71828 and keeps on going. All right, so natural log of 8 is really the log of base E to the 8. Um, e to the negative 1.8, you might encounter that. That's over here again, E to the blank. So uh, we go negative 1.8. Ah, sorry about that. Shift, E, okay, then negative 1.8. Uh, close it. Don't forget it's the plus or minus key. Equals, we got 0 0.1652. Good, it keeps on going, of course. And lastly, let's say you got the natural log of x equals 3. Natural log is really the log base e, x equals 3. Then the rule, e to the third equals x. So shift e to the, to the box, put a 3 in there, close it if you like, equals. And that's going to give you 20.0855 and so forth. Pretty straightforward. By the way, this is the FX300 ES Plus second edition. Oh, great. Uh, so hopefully that gives you a sense of how to do this. Um, by all means, uh, take your time in watching the video again. If you have any questions, please state them in the comment section. Please share with your friends. If you um, like, you can also uh, use the thanks button as well to support this channel. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.